Hey guys, welcome to another After Effects tutorial. This time we're going to learn how to do a satellite uh, view effect as seen in the villa, which can be seen here. So it starts off really far and it zooms in a bit and zooms in some more and finally locks onto a target. Pretty cool effect, but actually pretty damn easy to do as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first thing you need to do is uh, create a new composition, of course. New composition, frame rate, uh, make it the same as your uh, other footage frame rate. So in my case, it was 23.976. Uh, duration of 8 seconds, because that's how I think that's how long mine was. So we're just going to roll with that. And okay, and now we're going to get some satellite footage. And the easiest way to do this is, of course, to visit Google Earth. Or, I mean, uh, Google Maps. So let's go ahead and zoom into somewhere uh, Las Vegas, yeah. You want to go to satellite view, so just click on that. And let's zoom in to about. Wow. Ah, yeah, find something interesting first, not just like, you know, desert. I mean, I guess it could work depending on what kind of uh, movie you're doing. So I guess zoom in to about here. Looks pretty good. Uh, note the position of the bar here. Okay, so hit F11 on your keyboard to bring it up to full screen mode. Uh, I'm using Google Chrome, so I'm not sure if it's different on other browsers, but uh, I don't think it is. Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and print screen this. Print screen, go to uh, your image editor. I'm using Paint. Paste that in. Save it. Name this far. Save. Yes. Now go back to Google, Google, Google Maps. Zoom in a bit more. Zoom in twice. Find the location that you like. Print screen again. Go back to paint. Control N. Make a new document. Paste it. Save it as mid. And I'm going to do it one last time. Zoom all the way in. Maybe that's too far in, so. Mm. Ah, you see the image kind of changes exposure here, so you might want to actually go all the way back and take a new far shot or take some shot that is between your mid and far so yeah this looks fine print screen actually this is like this no. control n paste save i think this is a mid and we're gonna rename this to close Okay, now we have our images. So basically, what you want is a close, a far, and a mid. You can do more, uh, more levels of zoom, but that's entirely up to you. I'm just using three to show you guys how to do this. So I have my close, my far, and my mid shot. All right. So let's go on ahead into After Effects. I'm going to import the file. So let's take our far, put it in. Take our mid, put it in. Take our close, put it in. Give each frame, I mean each uh, zoom level about two seconds. So two seconds. Uh, two seconds. So it goes from far, close. I mean sorry, far, mid, close. Okay. Now we're gonna add some scan lines. Uh, so create a new solid, new solid. Uh, color black. In the scan lines, uh, go to effects and presets. Find uh, Venetian blinds transition under transition. Drag it in. Completion now. Of course, uh, you want the direction to be in 90 degrees. And uh, transition completion. Uh, let's try 90. Lower the width so you have more lines across the page and across the screen. So that's 92% completion. I'll just go with 80, 85. Yeah, it looks good. And width of mm, 7 looks cool. So it looks kind of like a computer screen. Okay, we're gonna leave that alone now. Next, we're gonna add some color correction. 
so right click new adjustment layer right click effects and presets color correction um, photo filter let's go with that now this really depends on what you want your view to look like uh, in my case I used like a computer green kind of look so mm, deep emerald maybe green density now this looks you can see how how, we, how this thing works I don't want it to be too green so maybe deep emerald at around 40% density let's add some contrast so right click color correction uh, curves put that up put this down okay maybe uh, mess around with the levels as well the redstone this is all optional this is just depending on what kind of look you guys want to go for now let's add a vignette as well we can name this layer color let's add a vignette so right click new solid vignette put it under the color and uh, you wanna select the ellipse tool so if it's not here uh, hold it down and then drag to ellipse tool you're gonna double click on it and it will create this nice oval shape for us click layer press mm to bring up the mask properties and then you want actually to subtract and then uh, where's feather? Ah, feather it up like so and then increase the expansion like so so here's what it looks like without and then with just uh, play around with the expansion and the feathering depending on what you want this to look like okay so now we have this that's the color out of the way now let's animate it a bit go to your uh, far image uh, hit P for position from here to about mm, let's just have it about here two and a half seconds just move it ever so slightly uh, let's just turn these off so we can see how we're moving it so it's kind of like this very smooth uh, I don't like how that looks so maybe like this So it's just a very slight movement over two seconds. And then let's select the keyframes, hit F keyframes and hit F9. And uh, finally for the close layer, hit P, position, stopwatch, and then just move it so slightly. No. Yeah. Oops, all the way to the end. Ah oh, no, about two and a half seconds like so you want to select the last keyframe I've been pressing the whole the wrong button this whole time easy ease yeah so now we have this nice slight move so it seems like the satellite is tracking for a location okay Actually, the last one can be a bit longer, maybe, s maybe three and a half seconds. Alright, so let's go ahead and add some transitions between the uh, layers. Uh, I used a plugin called Twitch by Video Copilot in my original video, but I know some of you guys might not have that. So we're just gonna go ahead and use a linear wipe. So type in linear wipe in the effects and presets, and you can just use the uh, animation preset. So click on your second layer, mid drag it in and you can see it transitions quite nicely into the next one it's obviously jagged so you're gonna go to the options and feather that a bit maybe a uh, hundred and fifty
you can do the same you can just copy paste the effect actually or you can just drag a new one for the coast layer feather 150 you should accomp accompany this with some kind of cool swishing sound okay that's pretty much it for that let's add some text so new text uh, pick a sort of techy looking font mm, infinity so we're just gonna type here navsat yeah it's too large so we're gonna scale it down put it somewhere logical set the blending mode to mm, I should leave the blending mode as normal and then lower the opacity to maybe 50% or maybe 75 nah 60 whatever looks good for you uh, duplicate control D and then type something else like remote access online or something I don't know put it on again put it you know and then you know you can just keep adding more text uh, locating dot 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 let's add some animation to this so I think there's something called decoder it's an after effects preset which basically lets you animate the text in this cool like computer looking way you guys see that yep so now let's add a locator box so right click new solid make it white locate R and uh, we're just gonna draw something really rough here take a masked take the uh, rectangle too mask around like this one of these should be subtract Subtract. So you now you have this like kind of boxy uh, brackets looking kind of object. Scale it down. Set the bending mode to. No, actually, just drop the opacity down to maybe like 50%. And we're gonna use this for the close shot when the solid on the tracks are location. So start to fade it in from zero so hit T to bring up opacity click stopwatch to zero and then maybe five frames later one two three four five fifty so it fades in let's kill this a bit more downwards let's make it highlight this building right here like so now the background is moving so you want your locator to kind of move as well so bring up position P and then just animate it accordingly Not like that. so it just kind of follows the location so there you have it guys satellite view online not that difficult and looks bloody cool thanks for watching this tutorial and if you have any questions please feel free to post in the comments and i'll see you guys next time